Martin Screlly has been arrested for securities fraud, and it looks like the mounting evidence against him is likely to get him convicted. And should he get convicted, not only is he looking uh, to some jail time, but he is unlikely to ever become the CEO of any other company again. Now, uh, he is involved in a long, complicated list of wrongdoings, so let me tell you what they are. Prosecutors in Brooklyn charged him with illegally taking assets from Retrofin Inc., a biotechnology firm he started in 2011, and then using it to pay debts from unrelated business dealings. He was later ousted from the company where he'd been chief executive officer and sued by its board. Now, a simple way of explaining what he would do is he would lie to the investors and talk about how highly profitable his company was when in reality it was in the red. Okay? He is alleged to have made secret payoffs to set up sham consulting arrangements. A New York lawyer, Evan Griebel, was also arrested early Thursday. He's accused of conspiring with Shkreli in part of the scheme. So now understand this, that thing that got him in trouble in the public about the uh, pills, is, and I was alluding to, is not the issue at hand here. No. Although he was a total dick about that, and he said, "Oh yeah, yeah I'm going to lower from $750." And then later he was like, "Just kidding, no, I'm not." And in fact, he said uh, at a Forbes subreddit this month in New York, he said, "I probably would have raised the price higher. My investors expect me to maximize profits." Well, here's the thing, he's right. And the reason why so many people hate, well, look, there are two different classes of people who hate them. Us, right, mm -hmm. people who feel uh, the negative impacts of greedy pharmaceutical companies, and then greedy pharmaceutical companies who have been doing the same thing for a long time, but they've been able to toe a line so they haven't been in the, in the headlines. He managed to get all of these negative stories in the headlines, and now all these greedy pharmaceutical companies are like, take them down, take them down, don't draw attention to all the greedy things we do. <laughs> yes, and so here, this is a perfect target for federal prosecutors for a number of reasons. Uh, he's not a heavy political contributor, he's not with a giant company that would get you in some political trouble if you went after him. Mm -hmm. he, he's a lone wolf, if you will. Uh, he's bringing unwanted attention to those big companies that do give a lot of political donations. Yep. Plus, probably guilty. <laughs> so, and he's hated and so and he's got a lot of press attention. So the prosecutors come in and go, "You see, we got the real bad guys. You see, we're on it." Right? And I'm glad they're going after him. If what they allege is true, by all means, they should definitely arrest him. I just wish they would have similar standards for others as well. I agree. Just to give you some more details, because it, again, it's a long list of things that he did. Authorities outlined years of investment losses and lies that he allegedly told his inv investors almost from the moment that he began managing money. By age 26, he said he got nine investors to place $3 million with him, began losing their money and covering it up. Within a year, his funds accounts was down to $331. Man, that takes a special talent, dude, to take $3 million and turn it into 300 bucks. <laughs> so look, if you do that, you know what happens? A lot of people get pissed. And then you got, you, you fucked up, son. You got rich people angry, okay? This guy was begging for a prosecution. He did everything he could to get prosecuted. He, you got no big company behind you and you pissed off rich people? That's the one time prosecutors are going to be all over your ass. And by the way, they should be. Again, you, you, if, look, it's one thing to just lose money. Okay, maybe he's the world's worst investor, which it sounds like he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you then start trying to cover it up and you start playing financial games, well, now you stepped in it because that's illegal.